David says it this way in another one of his psalms. Psalm 139, he says this, point out anything in me that offends you. Now, can I tell you, this is something that I was challenged with in 2020 as your pastor, this idea of continual surrender and repentance. I I started using the Lord's Prayer at the beginning of this year in my daily devotion, in my morning time, and I worked through the Lord's Prayer, and it's been so healthy in my life. And I realized through working through that, I had greatly neglected repentance. Man, forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. That's right in the middle of the Lord's Prayer. And I realized, wow, I, um, I mean, I mess up. I mean, I do some things that aren't nice, but I mean, come on. And what I, here's, here's what I did. I was like, well, what would that look like? And I did some research, and I actually found uh, one of the very first popes who came up with a list of the seven deadly sins. And I thought, you know what? I'm just going to start looking at those every day, and I'm going to see how I'm doing. Whew, did God ever start to do business on my soul? It, words like pride and envy and gluttony, and lust, and anger, and and I can tell you, like, I came to gluttony, and I was like, I don't struggle with gluttony, I mean, come on, look at me, bam, this guy don't struggle with gluttony, but uh, but what I realized, God actually pointed out to me in one of my times, this is crazy, he said, you know what, Brad, you know what you do, you you are on YouTube way too much, you're spending way too, way too much time on that, it's not healthy for you, Brad, it's not good for you, you know, you're ignoring your wife, you're ignoring people, or you, you need, there's other things, and I was like, oh, okay. Now, I realize that's not like, whoa, how grave and awful was that, Brad, you too, but I can tell you that God also dealt with me when it came to anger, <laughs> so I'm like, I'm not angry, God. He's like, but you're bitter, and you know who you're bitter against. God just began to do business on my soul, and I realized, whoa. I am bitter. And God not only said, do you not only need to ask my forgiveness, but you need to get it out of your life. You need to not even think upon it, think about it. When it starts to enter your mind, Brad, that person and that thing that they did or that they're doing, I need you to not even give it a thought because when you do, I'm not pleased with that. This is what God wants to do in our lives through continual surrender. Repentance is not a one-time thing. It's it's a continual thing. It's an ongoing thing.